Here we are, another strike mission up before dawn and uh, meeting up with my friend Garrett Lee. He's the owner founder of Sutomu Lures. So he's been making trolling lures that have been some of the most productive lures for, for Hawaiian waters, but now around the world. And his specialty and his passion and why he got into lure making was ahi fishing or yellowfin tuna. So right now is the time. It's ahi season here in Hawaii. Uh, it's mid-June, kind of prime time. Our moon phase is, is, is not bad, it's decent. And uh, I just want to head out with them today and actually get some pointers. I have like ahi repellent. I'm so bad at catching ahi, but it's primarily because I hear the bites on for like three days. I'm busy doing other things and then I end up going out the fourth day and it goes quiet because we're out of a certain moon cycle or whatever it is. It's too calm. It's always something. But I'm going to go out with him and just try to learn as much as I can because my ahi fishing skills honestly suck. <laughs> so it should be fun. How's it going guys? Um, I'm Garrett from Sutomu Lures and today we're out here on the west side of Oahu and we're gonna chase ahis. Yep, so uh, the report, the big reports, you been hearing of anybody catching or what? Um, it's been a little slow. Guys have, guys have been catching but the fish are around but it's not a super super hot bite. Um, there's some fish coming up in the porpoise out here that we're gonna go check first. Uh, my cousin was actually out here yesterday and he didn't, he had two bites, but he didn't get any. But his friend was out here the day before and he took a five banger and got all five. So they're around, we just gotta get lucky. Nice, had, have we had a hot, super hot bite yet this season? Yeah, last week, last, last Thursday, Friday, yeah. this whole coast went ballistic. My friend had four of six bites and my other friend on the north side, he had six. So Jeez. that was the day. <laughs> I yeah. wonder if that's the night I saw the termites coming out. Probably. Because I haven't seen a nuts yeah. termite night this, this yeah, yeah, uh, summer yeah. yet. And then there's a couple nights that I was telling uh, Kim, I was like, Ahi Bite's going to be on, Ahi Bite's yeah. going to be on. Then I was checking Instagram the next day. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy how the um, old timers figured that out. Yeah. I know, right? So, so what we're talking about is um, all the old timers would always say the nights in the summer when the termites all start flying out and uh, they're all around the lights and swarming everywhere that's when the ahi are gonna start biting so always try to pay attention to that and see if it sinks up and it seems like it always does yeah. it must be like a, a temperature moon phase temperature, and, I think a moon phase thing yeah and yeah. it's usually like a light wind night I feel yeah, like yeah definitely definitely yeah it's a trip the one thing I didn't see a lot of, um, the other indicator I got a lot of guys, old timers, is like, there's a lot of mangoes early. Oh really? Yeah. Is that enough? I yeah. haven't heard the mango theory. Yeah, I always, around my house, I always look at the mango trees and like, ah, man, no one that much mango flowers. Ah. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> nice, I like that one, I'm gonna remember that. Yeah. See, I'm learning stuff already, we haven't even put lures in. <laughs> biting anything in particular so we're just gonna run a mixed spread of our favorite colors a little bit of purples a little bit of pinks a little bit of blues and then a black and we'll see what happens so what's it I always hear people talking about like how you run your spread for your boat uh -huh. how big of a difference do you think that makes it's a huge difference everybody's boat vibrates different uh-huh so uh, Certain certain boats, the fish won't come real close, so you need to run it far away. And some boats, um, they'll come right up to them. And my dad's boat bite super close. Really? And then this boat used to have a different leg on it, and it, I guess it gave off a weird vibration. So we would get most of our bites on the riggers, and now we get a lot of our bites on the corners. I think the past two years it's been almost all corner bites. Wow. Yeah. 
go. It just it changes. I always wondered that, but it's it's kind of interesting. The times that I've been like sailing and trolling, uh -huh. you'd be like, oh, maybe there's going to be a ton of action because there's almost no real vibration from an engine, but yeah, not necessarily. So, yeah, so the guys um, like it to have a vibration. So typically, if you're a commercial guy, you want a diesel boat with a shaft and a external um, exhaust so that you get that do -do 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 in the water. Oh. Yeah, they like that. But I find that, yeah, it seems like diesel bo boats in general tend to bite better. Uh -huh. And with these double hooks, which one do you want down the back? Yeah, just like that. Yeah. Okay. short of where my cousin found them yesterday and oh, yeah. a little more down. They, they go like early morning, mid afternoon and then just at the front and the back side of the tide. Okay. Pretty pretty consistent way. So basically when the current is switching yeah, like Yeah when just the water's point, moving. Yeah. But I don't know. Sometimes it just sometimes it just seems to be biting all day, and sometimes they only bite right in that little pocket. Yeah. Hour or so. How are you guys doing out there? Nothing yet, but I just found a fourth at 60 at 9.8. 60 at 9. Yeah, man. 8 at 18. run like this yep. and then once it stops running the rope basically snap to drag the strike and then we'll crank it in. When I start to lead her if I tell when I tell you back off the drag just back it off to like leg like right there. And just and, below the strike one. Yeah. And then swivel to the tip and then as I lead her you just make sure the swivel is kind of if it dumps out of the tip just bring it back. A lot yeah. of times the so we'll wrap around the tip while the guy's leading and then if I gotta dump the leader and it's wrapped wrong. Yeah. And then whichever way the fish is circling, that's the side you wanna be on so that he circles right to you. So oh, I see. Like if he's circling this way, I'll probably squeeze into this corner and give you that space. We'll move this pull out of the way. Okay. If you find this way, then I'll come up here and I'll make the circle right to you. Okay, so you wanna be like where if he does run, he's gonna run out and away from the pole kind of like. Well, the boat's going to be stopped and the fish is going to be circling. Yeah. So as I leader him up, I want I want you to be able to see him come right to you and then you gap him. Yeah. Rather than he coming under the boat and then you see his head. Uh, yeah, yeah. he's going to go under the boat. And then when you gap him, just aim for the opposite side, peck him. Uh-huh. He's going to kind of like, I guess if he was to shoot the fish from out of water, he's going to look shallower and narrower than it really is. Stick the gap way down there. And yeah. If you hit him 
on the ferry on the opposite side, that's fine. You just take the up and you probably won't leave it here. Right. You just get the gap. And that and the thing is is you're just waiting until they're they're not green anymore. Basically. Yeah, but that's why I play the drag loose so that you can run and get tired. Right. And then I just lock them up and tighten them. And you just when you hit the gap, if they do get like a little second wind, you just keep the head yeah, out of the water. Keep the head up and I'll come it. with the second gap. Yeah. Yeah, how do you get them? When you're like, when guys are fishing solo, they just kind of fly, fly gap, feed it off or something and hit it with the main gap? And... Uh, no, I stick them with the regular gap and then I, I got that, that meat hook hanging right there and then I, I'll hook, uh -huh. hook and then hold them and then from there if I got it, then I'll feed them off. Got it. Yeah, but most times, once they do that, then they kind of stop and then there's a hammer right there. You just feed a couple times. Yeah. Should they get Zombie when they come back to life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my friend said he's he seen a bull hooked up a little bit in my hand, so I nice. worked down to that area. Yeah, that, that bird pot had a huge bait ball in them, but... You were that, marking the bait on? Yeah, yeah. that pot would... So we'll probably check down again on the way back up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so hopefully... What do you think it was, Opelu? Or something else? Yeah, yeah. over here is a lot of like upwelling, so it's all just small armor eddy and small fish. Oh, okay. Seahorses sometimes just depends on what's, what's blowing from the bottom. Right. Yeah, Rhine Eye is all up really, uh, more so than like, North Shore's a lot of wind, wind driven. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hopefully, that's why you just gotta kind of, if, if, if I knew of a zone, like, oh, my cousin caught one here yesterday, I would just stay there all day. Right. But okay. we gotta kind of hold Stick to the good intel. Yeah, the exactly. The wide open. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Crank up the drag yet? Yeah. Okay. So the strike, right? Yeah. Let me get this out of your way. Definitely some line out. Yeah.
Once I get this cleared, I can slow the boat down. Okay. Sounds good. Did you see that strike? That's pretty cool. I've seen the fish flash. I don't know what it was. First I thought it was a mahi. Pretty big mahi. <laughs> <laughs> it looked a little bigger than a mahi. Yeah. <laughs> Just hoping it doesn't have a pointy nose. I know. It's looking pretty silver blue. Yeah. Right now, and then throw those gloves on. Yeah. Probably gotta move the poultry to the other side. Right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Submarine. Okay. I'm back at the original strike. Toggle switch on your right hand side. 
coming up. I think so. Yeah, you good. Leave him there. Yeah. Come on, back up to the tip. Back up track. Yeah, you're going to up to the tip and then go grab the gap. So will this out? Yeah, not yet. Okay. Grab the gap now. Yeah, go ahead. Actually, crank a little bit more. You want me to get on the other side of you? Yeah, I think so. Try to pull upwards if you can. Yeah. Yeah, buddy! Lucky purple broke the curse for me. Garrett Sewer, of course. <laughs> good one. Man, that's gotta feel good to catch fish on a lure that you designed. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's gotta be like a totally different level of experience, yeah. the whole thing. Getting the blood out. Guy, he's got long sickles for his size, huh? Yeah, yeah. The, the last one we caught was that about the same size, but the sickles are super short. All the way down. Ooh, yeah. Finally, this is like the third trolling piece I tried to do and never caught crap on awesome. other times. Had to come with the ninja, Garrett. Awesome, that makes me stoked. There, there's definitely going to come out if you want to film that. Any minute now it's gonna come out. What's eating shrimp? So pretty crazy. This is what was coming out of this Ahi's stomach. And it's kind of like just a mix of things that you can tell are just like small deep sea fish and shrimp that they must feed on at night or get pushed up. Like this is a looks like a little type of puffer fish almost that looks like a like almost like a lizard fish but I don't know and then this is super weird these look like a these are a type of mantis shrimp which are usually around reefs and, sh and relatively shallow shallow water so I've never seen these mantis shrimp that are pelagic which is super interesting and then you got this which is 
got quite a jaw on it. I don't know if it's a stick fish or uh, some deep sea version, but it's pretty much digested. But pretty crazy that, you know, they're feeding on this and then they'll hit a lure on the surface like we were dragging. Just shows that they can switch modes really fast to get the food that they need. Super interesting. That was a textbook ahi bite because what happens is he comes up and he grabs the lure and he's facing the boat, right? Yep. And he does, at first he just sits there and shakes his head so the reel going, it's just the boat driving away. That's also why I play my drags a little looser because you want him to actually shake his head and then turn his head. That's when the hooks sink in. And then it goes, Rah! so it's normally like, and I'm, in my head I'm like, go you fricker. And then when he starts to go, then I'm like, okay. If he bites and automatically just starts singing, then you're like, oh God, that might be a mark. Oh, okay, I yeah. got it. I did not know yeah. that. That's, ex I mean. Textbook hockey Exactly what you're Except saying. for the, how he crossed the surface like that. That, that. Yeah, and we almost all saw that strike. Yeah, yeah, which is yeah, yeah. That was a surface grab. Yeah. But... So Garrett's just been running the hose inside the body cavity. To try to cool it down as fast as possible because tuna just get really hot when they fight and that can burn the meat if it's not cooled down quickly and if you put them in the ice with it uh, totally hot it'll just melt the ice really fast so cooled it down on the deck with water now I'm gonna take the guts out so it'll cool down even more get the ice in the body cavity and the main thing is you got really good meat at the end of the day That's a wrap. We headed out before light and back in early afternoon. Successful day. We got a nice ahi in the cooler. My first ahi in Hawaii, which is a big win thanks to Garrett. Sutomu Lures, um, check the link below if you want to buy some of these lures. They obviously work. Lots of yellowfin tuna and all different other kinds of pelagic fish get killed on these things in Hawaii. And uh, thanks for showing up for another strike mission. Dude. No way, killer! Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, now you can run. Bruh, it now I know it's me. If I don't catch fish. It's proven <laughs> lure right here. To prove it, this so. is the one, the killer. Dude, thanks. Yeah, Appreciate dude, it. I'm stoked. Stoked thanks we got for you one. Breaking the ice for me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, dude. I didn't even know. I thought you just wanted to get it videoed. I figured you caught before, so I'm, I'm uh -huh. glad we got you. One. Dude, I have a trolling curse. <laughs> I do well with everything else. Trolling hates me. So uh, we'll have I'm, to fix that I'm when broken. we get the new boat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's got stoke. some nice little super stoke. Hey, How's it guys? Hey. Yeah, that's an OG producer. Do Onos hit this one a lot too? Yeah, yeah. It that, looks like it kind of catches everything. Everything, right? Yeah. Epic, man. Thanks. Yeah, dude. Stoked. stoked. Tried and true.